Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Evil Within 2. I'm Samurai Tex, and when we last left off, we grabbed these photographic slides, but no. We um, collected the chip, we did a little sneaky sneaky, and we f f became free of what was haunting us. Yep, that was the last memory trip we went through, and no, we won't need to hear from the woman whispering, Sebastian, anymore, because we're free! We don't have to deal with her anymore. So yes, now we are going to use the chip to actually gain access, but first... Oh yeah, we got our classic revolver back, as you can see, right there. Look at that, that was our um, signature weapon in the first game. But hey, we'll stick with the semi-automatic gun. Is there anything else for us to collect here? I don't think so, so we're just going to proceed forward. We've got the chip, we've freed ourselves from the memory that we were um, having troubles with, and now we can... Focus on our mission. We've killed everything here, so we don't have to worry about anything else. Whew, we got a lot to do, but um, I'm still a bit iffy about O'Neill. It's not like O'Neill to just leave his thing when he said he wasn't going to do it. Same with Hoffman, so... Something really stinks, as Snake would say. But yeah, the whole thing... The whole thing stank. Thank you. Hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and Might be a bit too late for that, Seb. But we shall see. Something's really shady, but we're going to grab all of these. Alright, grabby, grabby, grabby. With us grabbing as much ammo as we have just now, I have a feeling we are going to be in for uh, quite a doozy. Hmm... What is that? Is that like for fountains and stuff? Um, you know what? Oh, more ammo. I'm really starting to think that we are going to be attacked now. It's been a while since we've been ambushed and all that jazz by something really big. But you know, it is the evil within and there's plenty of evil within this game. Voices. Voices. What's this, Randy Orton? Is this your song? I'm kidding, we can hear voices. But yeah, let's grab this ammunition. We're not going to go in that room just yet. Not by any means. We're just going to gather whatever we can before we go in that room. The reason why I say that is because I have a feeling there's trouble in that room. Hmm, hello? Pull. Oh, that's the device. That must be a fountains or stuff. Oh. Ugh. Don't tell me they're gonna come alive. Please don't do that. Six shotgun shells. Hmm. Starting to think that, um, we're going to be in for quite an ambush. So let's reload. Anything else here? Nope. Nope. I think we've grabbed everything we need. But yeah, I've got everything. Ooh. Nitrogen. Ooh. Okay, I'm starting to think that we need to do something now. I'm ready. Right, let's push this first. Oh, it is a fountain. Or the sprinkler. I'm guessing that was right behind us, because um, I couldn't see it in front of us. But, yeah. Um, hmm. Let's go in that room, since Sebastian says there's voices in that room. showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. 
A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Well, 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 seems Fyodor got to O'Neill. Oh! Getting burnt, story of our life. Getting burnt, burnt, burnt. I think he's going to say, let the rage consume me. I think I've let enough rage consume me, to be honest with you. Can you walk into that trap, please? You know, let me pick it up again. I'm just going to run away. Oh, God! Alright. Oh, what's that ammo? Handgun bullets. Looks like handgun bullets. Can I pick those up? Oh, God. They are handgun bullets, but... <coughs> Get burnt for my troubles. Alright, so we need to really be careful because obviously um, we're going to get in trouble if we don't. But yeah, let's keep going. Uh, let's do that. He might be a bit angry that we just poured water on him to cool him down. A little of some steam, O'Neill. Okay. Here we go. Kaboom. Yeah, I'm gonna have a feeling that I'm gonna have to run him around ragged. This may take a lot of ammo, because these kind of boss fights do take a lot of ammo. Plus, I'm playing on Nightmare, so... Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't expect you to, friend. I mean, ooh! Whatever was left of you. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you. This isn't the way to go, O'Neill. But if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you're going to get. Need to heal up, though, so... Yeah, let's use a syringe. Ah, much better. Probably should have waited for... Probably should have waited. That's dumb. Did not mean to do that. But hey, we're going to run. Get a little bit wet. I will eventually. Heard sure. It's not gonna kill. Don't mind the police sirens. Um, it's not gonna kill you per se, but um, you know, I'll still attack you. Don't mind the sirens. Sorry about that, guys. Um, nothing I can really do about that. Right. Let me quickly. Uh oh. Let me quickly go that way. You've lost it, O'Neill. Alright, let's fire this in the ground, then run away. He's got to step on it because he has no choice but to go that way. Any time now. There we go. He's probably very angry, but, mm, you know, I don't really care. Hmm. Oh, he's coming this way. Boom! <laughs> Eat lead! Eat lead! Come on, eat it! Eat it! Alright, let's run now. Oh! Whoa, 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 You took that off in the cutscene. Why do you have it on again? You know what? If I had to choose one or the other... I'd, oh. I'd much rather die than um, pick a side. Damn, I'm getting my ass handed to me. I hope I don't die. I don't be doing all this again. Alright, let's do this. Ah! Yeah, you did, actually. You did hurt me, but um, that has nothing to do with it. 
Oh, I just about avoid that. But yeah, if you hurt me, I will hurt you. It's just it's just part of the plan. No, you've you've lost it, O'Neill. Yeah, I don't care about Father Theodore. Because he's gonna meet the same fate as you. But only his one's gonna be more painful. Where is he? Where is O'Neill? Uh, hello? Hmm. Where is he? I'm a bit confused. I can't find him. Is he over this side or is he on the other side? I don't know. Is he here? Where is he? Hello? He's not here. Hmm. What is he? Yeah, I'll pass on that. Don't worry, I'll find a way. But, um, what about you? Well, I'm gonna shoot this, um, canister, this, um, nitrogen, this nitrous get as um, canister. I'm gonna shoot it, but... Where is he? Dude, where are you? Are you stuck? Are you there? And now I'm talking like I'm playing Phasmo, but, you know... Are you, are you? Oh, there you are. Alright, now I know you're there. Um, I will press the switch. Can I shoot that? Aha! Hi. Alright, that did work, but looks like i got to um, find another way to um, get him around the other one. Uh-oh. Oh, don't worry, Master Theodore. I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. Then I'm gonna come for you. And when I come for you, it'll be more it'll be more pain than you will ever imagine. Looks like I might need to craft. Alright, let me um do some explosive bolts. Really need a bit more of those. Yeah, I'll get two more. Uh develop some shock bolts. I can only develop two more shock bolts. Um, yeah, we're not going to do anything health-wise, because we don't really need it. What I need is explosives. Come on, show yourself, O'Neill. I'm just going to make an example out of you, you know. If there's one thing i got to do is make an example out of you. Unfortunately, I say the word unfortunately, because you got um, your mind manipulated by Theodore, so now I'm going to have to kill you. And by doing that, I'm going to have to uh, basically shoot bullets in you or explosives and stuff. And, um, yeah, um, I've got to make an example out of you. Theodore has made me do this, and I'm going to do it. First, let me do this. <coughs> okay. And so must you. Oh god, I'm burning myself. Oh god, I'm burning myself. Okay, hide, 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 hide. Okay, there we go. I need to stop burning myself. Need to replenish. Thank you. I suppose I need to replenish. See, at least I regenerate some health, but yeah. Um, seems um, I gotta make an example out of O'Neill. Let's see how this is gonna get done. Hello? Got him in the head. Got him again. I wonder if I could shoot his tank. I don't think I can shoot the um, tank on his back. Yeah, see, look, I hit it, but nothing happened, so... Seems I'm out of luck. Imagine if that could be the way to kill him. Let's put him out of his misery. Oh, don't worry. I will. I won't go down easy. I don't expect you to go down easy. Did he blow that up? He did. Touche. Oh boy. 
Right, third round. Aha! Yeah, I wish I would pay for that, but... If anyone's going to pay for anything, it's you. With all them shots in your head, but, um, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God, I burnt... Um, it feels okay. Me weak isn't too bad in this game, compared to, like, all of you stronger enemies. I still get to whoop your ass and outsmart you, so... Not really missing out on much. I won't let him get away. I promise. How about you cool off? Oh. You must be cleansed. I will be cleansed. That'll be once I beat you. Man, this boss fight is something else, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you're still full of. I'm still glad you're full of fight, um, old you. I expect that from you. If you went down right here, right now, I wouldn't be surprised, and I would be rather disappointed if you, if you went down right here, right now. But you know, you're gonna have to go down right here, right now, because you're wasting my time. I've got bigger fish, fish to fry. Froze's, Froze's privates. There we go. Good lord. I've run out of ammo for this part. I barely got any damn bullets. There we go. Wish I could do more than just load bolts into you. Oh, there we go, he's down. you'll get turned into that thing I don't know I've been locked in my safe house since you left when Liam called and asked me to meet him I was so relieved to hear his voice but he wasn't Liam he was that thing I tried to get through to him but he heard him Theodore Wallace did something to him poor guy I didn't want to have to kill him you didn't have a choice Theodore wasn't gonna give him up so what now Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Sure. But should I go in this room first? Cross into the other side. O'Neill is dead because we had to kill him. And he's left a flamethrower, it looks like. This flamethrower is few tanks are beyond damage beyond repair. You will need to find some replacements before you can use it. Web seems to be custom made parts, so you will probably have to find similar weapon salvage tanks from. You have a feeling that you're going to fi not find this one just lying around, though. Yeah, of course. And if I don't find the parts, then it looks like I'm going to have to do without a flamethrower. 
which is going to be unfortunate, but I do hope I can find them. Hopefully we will. Let's see what's here. Apart from the mirror. Oh, let's listen to this. Yes, yeah, so he clearly was doing things on the Theodore's orders because Theodore's a piece of crap. But yeah, that's all we're going to do for this video. We've killed O'Neill and we're going to do a lot more. So probably going to upgrade some stuff and whatnot in the next video. So yeah, um, this is where we're going to end the video because we've done all we can. So when we come back, folks, we'll return on Friday to play more Evil Within 2 and destroy that machine. Till next time, guys, Samurai TX is signing out. Farewell. <laughs>